Now, y'all know that we couldn't do a whole ass freestyle week and not include that boy, one of the best freestylers in the game right now, Lil Dicky. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Sadiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, when I said I was gonna do the freestyle week and I knew that I wanted to include Lil Dicky somehow, but it was gonna be difficult because I've seen all of Lil Dicky's freestyles. I saw both of, I, I reacted to one of them, one of the ones from Sway in the Morning, his most recent one. And then I reacted to his first freestyle on Sway in the Morning before he had put out the album. And that freestyle is really just a song bruh off of his debut album is just put into a freestyle before it was a song so i was like damn i don't know any other i don't know any other freestyles where we, we could do it and when someone had requested this one Lil dicky in the hot seat and i didn't even know that this was a video i didn't even know this this video existed so i'm hyped because i i fuck with Lil dicky's freestyles like heavy i like people like black thought i like people like like king los i like people who have like very deep thought provoking bars in their freestyle but I also like people who have the technical creativity and capability to just rap and straight up just like similes, metaphors, nonstop. And that's Lil Dicky's lane. But that's really all that I gotta say. I don't wanna talk too much at the beginning cause I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of pausing and a lot of explaining and breaking down bars cause that's just how Lil Dicky spits. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel, links are down in the description below. And we got Lil Dicky on the hot seat. Let's get it. Got the homie Young Dicky with me. What's up, bruh? What's up, man? <laughs> Chillin'. Okay, so first off, couple things. This is a fucking awful, awful studio setup. How you gonna have your back to the fucking, like, guest? Hey, how you doing, bruh? Oh, oh, word? Oh, okay, okay, I see you. Like, what the fuck is this? And also, this was obviously before Lil Dicky was even Lil Dicky because they just called him Young Dicky. That's already 0 for 2 right off the, right off the, right off the rip. <laughs> Oh. Greg Nitty! This is the first time I ever rapped on the radio. I just want you to know that. Okay. Damn. Just know it. That's dope. To imagine imagine looking back on it and this radio show was the first one where Lil Dicky rapped on the radio. And he's saying it like that. Just like in the song Truman where he's like, this is the exact moment that I was thinking about talking with Diddy. That's like the moment that he's having right here. He's like, this is my first time rapping on the radio. I, I just want you to know that. I want you to know what gym you're about to be sitting on. Confidence, dog. First time I ever rapped on the radio, I just want you to know that. Okay. Just know it. Let's, let's go in. I don't know the definition. Fuck is average. I've been sitting watching waiters so impatient like it's baggage claim. I'm about to be ah. the greatest. Naked pictures in my chat. These other rappers fucking lazy. Word to banging in the hammock. Y'all ain't even hang. These these rappers are fucking lazy. Word to banging in a hammock. Like literally like 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 a fucking like you banging in a hammock, which is normally like you take lazy naps in a hammock, dog. And he said, I'm just being patient, like waiting that bad like baggage claim. Like you just standing there waiting for you. What what can you do? You can't do shit, you're just waiting for your bag to come through on the carousel. Other rappers fucking lazy, word to banging in the hammock. Y'all ain't even hanging. Y'all ain't in the running, boy, I'm fucking up the track like the youngin' in the running. Y'all are lighter with the fire, I want to match. He be like, nah, I'm bad at bro, how you get a dad? These bitches trying to- <laughs> Dog, his flow and his delivery and like his wordplay is just so, it's so smooth. It's so like, I don't give a, it's so nonchalant, but it's so fire at the same time. He said, y'all ain't even hanging with me. You ain't even hanging at my level. Y'all ain't even in the running. I'm fucking up the track. Like your boy is in the running. Like I'm in the running, like literally running track and field. Fire. He said, y'all lighter with the fire. I want to match. Like I need someone to match this skill level. Like lighter, like literally fire, like lighter, but lighter as in like weight. Like, like you ain't anywhere near as heavy as I am down here. It's fire. I'm already getting hype. I got to take my jacket off. Shout out to fucking, uh, shout out to motherfucking Envision Clothing for not just the jacket, but the shirt as well. You know what I'm saying? Envision Clothing. Go check my boy out. He was one of the very first people to support the channel. Envision is just like this, co.com. All right, let's get after it. He be like, nah, I'm bad at bro, how you get it that? These bitches trying to rap, they don't get their time rapping. I'm coming like I'm fucking, they underwood. And to be frank, I in front of wording Kevin Spacey on another level debate. Yo, dogs. This is why I pause it a lot during Lil Dicky like fucking freestyles because his wordplay is just like weaving in and out of different like subject matters is fire. He said these bitches try and rap, they ain't, they ain't get their time rapping, I'm coming like I'm fucking, like literally coming. And again, like fucking, they under wood, like, like when you have a, like an erection, they under wood. 
And to be frank, I ain't funny. Like, like to be frank, he said word to Kevin Spacey because Kevin Spacey's character in House of Cards, his name was Frank Underwood. So I'm being frank when they Underwood, just, you know, like, God damn. And this is his first ever radio freestyle. Imagine like, this is probably the radio moment that the end of the, the end of the story, Dave, like at the end of the first season when he's with Charlemagne, this is probably like that moment, but glorified and cooler for like, for like TV, you know? But to be frank, I am front of wearing a Kevin Spacey on another level, debatably crazier than shit they play beside the porn that you playing at a Ooh. matinee and dipping dots, getting checks. Fuck, I care that my Twitter not. I care a little bit Algorithm isn't doing this job Assuming it's flawed They probably not believing in Hobbs The nice boy been ballin' White boy been a Dan King Scott Paulin' Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, I got that one. He said, white ball been a, white boy been balling, white boy been a king. Or well, he said, he said, white boy been a king, Scott Pollard, who was like a, who was a, uh, who was a basketball player that was on the Sacramento Kings. Like, that was straightforward. And Lil Dicky's known for throwing in, like, uh, especially basketball players, throwing in athletic references. But the one about Hobbs, I want to say, like, I, I can't say for sure because I don't know exactly what the bar meant, but I know that there's a bar there. And I want to say he's talking about Calvin and Hobbs, like, they ain't believing in the boy like like they ain't believe that in the cartoon calvin and hobbs like the fictional the imagination character like isn't real and and calvin's the only one that sees him so i want to say it's a reference to calvin and hobbs like they ain't believing in him they ain't believing in the in the fire just like they ain't believe in calvin that that hobbs was even there but I can't say for certain. White boy been a Dan King, Scott Paulin. Hey. Gotta tell my mom, stop calling. But dog, confused about my destiny. Making me repeat myself like I was judging spelling bees. But I'm just trying to smoke. Make myself repeat, make me repeat myself like I was just like, like I was judging spelling bees, dog. Like I need my mom to stop calling. She confused about my destiny. Once we saw who Lil Dicky could become, it was like, it's blatantly, it's blatantly obvious right there. The star power that the dude has. But this Jewish white boy from small ass town out of Philadelphia, like I'm sure many people were doubting the destiny that he saw for himself, including his mom. Gotta tell my mom stop calling, but dog, confused about my destiny, making me repeat myself like I was judging spelling bees. But I'm just trying to smoke weed, grab a case of Rito. Got a zool by a Spanish chick, Moy Benito, hey. or Benita. That's my vida. Keep Got a zool by a Spanish chick, dog. Like like the color blue, but also like blue, like getting head B L E W. It's Instead of B-L-U-E, it's fucking fire, dog. See, like the imagination within his lyrics. That's what makes his lyrics fire. Yeah, like the similes and metaphors are there, but it's just the imagination to come up with the complexities behind the similes and metaphors that he uses. Trying to smoke weed, grab a case of Rito. Got a Zool by a Spanish chick, Moy Benito, or Benita. That's my vida. Keep the rapping tight both ways. Dextrous, where my Rita? And when is y'all? See, oh, damn, dog. Like, I, I want to say I know that, but I don't know. I obviously get the, I keep the rapping type both ways, like dexterous, like ambidextrous, both hands. You can, you can either, either way he raps is gonna be tight, it's gonna be fire. But I don't, I don't get the homophone that he's trying to spit right there with "Where's my Rita." I get the rhyme to the previous bar, but I don't know what he's saying and how that pertains to dexterous. Both ways, dexterous. Where my Rita? And when it's y'all, it's a nice sound. When it's me, it be like everybody pipe down. Y'all the background. Play your part, ho. Checks mix, grubbing up a Wells Fargo. Had to make a new account. Didn't want the checks mix. Y'all are trying to fit in. I'm the one who playing Tetris. This is Yo, dog. Just like the visual of Ken, I could just see him at Wells Fargo, like sitting there eating Chex Mix in the waiting room. He needs to open up a different, he needs to open up a different bank account because he don't want the Chex mixed. Like literally Chex Mix is the, is the fruit, is the, is the snack. He doesn't, he literally doesn't want his physical checks that he gets. He doesn't want that mixed up with his personal money. You got the rapping money, got the personal money. So Chex Mix and Chex Mix, that's fire, dog. And he said, y'all are trying to fit in. I'll be the one that's playing Tetris. Like literally, like people try to fit in like 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 you do in Tetris to try to make the lines connect. But he's actually the one play. He's the one fit. He's the he's the one that's controlling the game while y'all just trying to fit in. And he said, when it's y'all, it's a nice sound. And when it's me, they be like, everybody pipe down. Y'all just background noise, know where your role is at. It's just like the line on the on the album. I forget which song it is, but he says, he says, when they play your demo ass, they be like, that's some shit. And then when they play me, they be like, that's some shit. Like, that's some hot shit. Similar line, but obviously he tweaked it a little bit for the actual album. Checks mix, grubbing up a Wells Fargo. Had Ooh. to make a new account, didn't want the checks mix. Y'all are trying to fit in. I'm the one who playing Tetris. This Bar. is the beginning of my day. It's breakfast. Y'all the mini bars. Y'all got mini bars. Ooh. Walk up in this bitch like I was born bred. Going deeper with the spitting like some porn head. Picture every rapper laying on the floor dead while I'm in a chair, cross-legged eating cornbread. Duh. I 
Like this ain't nothing to me. I kill these fucking rappers on the daily. This is this is my fucking. We haven't even gotten to the afternoon yet. This is my breakfast. He said, y'all the mini bars. Y'all got mini bars, dog. Like mini, like alcoholic mini bars, but also y'all y'all's raps, y'all's bars is whack. There's they're mini bars compared to my shit. And he said, walk up in this bitch like I was born bred, going deeper with the spit like some porn head dog, like fucking deep throat and like spitting like nasty shit that you see on porn that really don't happen too much in real life. Going deeper with the spit like I like some porn head. Fuck. And he said, picture every rapper laying on the floor dead while I'm eat, while I'm in a chair sitting cross-legged like Indian legged eating cornbread. <laughs> what the fuck dog? Only Lil Dicky can pull a bar like that off. Dead while I'm in a chair, cross-legged, eating cornbread. I just fucked a black chick. Yeah, I'm proud. If that's racist, suck a black dick. I'm the one who going straight to the top. Don't mistake it. It's not the flagrant when you blatantly flop. I stayed down like my... Duh, he said... I just fucked a black chick, and if you think that that's racist, suck a black dick, dog. Then he said, I'm going straight to the top. Don't mistake it. It ain't a flagrant when you blatantly flop. That fucking, that, that internal rhyme scheme right there. And a flagrant foul for those that don't watch basketball is like intentionally trying to cause harm to somebody. So he's like saying, I'm out, I'm out here trying to cause harm to all these rappers, but you can't even say that it's a flagrant when you blatantly flop, like your tracks flop. I can't even come at your head because there's no head to come at. Don't mistake it, it's not the flagrant when you blatantly flop. I stayed down like my date gown in this bitch. I'm about to hit the playground, straight clown all these kids. Watching hey. ladies bugs with your lady. Got it made like that. Clean a house like a maid might rap. Don't play with you lame. Clean a house like a maid might rap? Like literally M-A-I-D? Like a, like a cleaning lady? And he said, watching ladybugs with your lady? Yeah, I got it I got it straight like that. Again, this goes, this is kind of like a same similar line in the song personality. Like, like y'all motherfuckers always want to talk hard. Y'all want to say y'all got all the money. Y'all want to be big dicks and shit. When really I'm out here doing all the sentimental shit with your chick that actually really makes her fall in love. He said, I stay down like my date gown in this bitch. Dog, like it's like, she's like, it stays off. I'm gonna hit the playground straight clowning these kids. Fire. Clean a house like a maid might rap. Don't play with you lame type cats. Same shit for days, motherfucker. If you called, I got flames, y'all the ice caps. I've been money, y'all don't even know about the ice caps. <laughs> I don't know that much either though about the ice caps. <laughs> I'm flames with this shit, y'all the ice caps. Y'all's his ass, but then he starts <laughs> And he's like, I, I don't know anything about global warming, to be honest. I don't know what's really happening over there. I just thought it was a hot bar. And he said, I don't play with you lame tight cats, dog. Y'all be doing the same type of rap that you've been doing for five years. Nothing imaginative, nothing, nothing fucking original or groundbreaking. Y'all say y'all are cold with the shit while I'm flame type raps. I want to seven nine hot seat made hot by the locker room part two. You little dicky, little, we're going to go right to it. Uh. Dude, I hope that th that beat is fire right there, the ones that's about to come on. But yo, like I know it's a smaller, it's probably got to be a smaller like like a uh, radio station. You can't make it look like you edited an iMovie when I know for a fact it was edited in iMovie just by these little transitions that they're using. I hope that I hope that in six years you you brought up your fucking video video production quality. You know. Uh. Oh. L. This is Drake and Lil Wayne and Bun B, in case you don't know the beat. Hardly home, but always reppin'. You hardly on it, always second. Hey, this is part two. Yo, talk to him, man. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, yo, talk to him, man. Uh, sure, I get, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yo, talk to him, man. Oh, sure. <laughs> We can start with the rap, flown like malls, like all oh, there's a gap. Go on my car logs, dogs wanna chat, big dogs, missed calls. A lot of motherfuckers in the league, no L, and I just had brunch with them beating no well, and I just got fucked and was sucked by a dumb slut. Usually I like them, I believe, oh well. Summer camp, I've been. Nah, I just got fucked by a dumb slut. Usually I like them, Ivy League, but oh well, you know? But yo, he said we could start with the rap, flowing in the malls, like ah, oh, there's a gap, dog. That's such a fucking bar. Like your talent and your skill level, there's a clear gap between you and me. But he said flowing in the malls, like when you walk in the mall and you go, ah, there's a gap, like the store. Fuck. He said going in my call logs, dogs wanna chat, big dogs, miss calls. Like like I like I be taught like I be with them A-list celebrities be wanting to chat it up with me. I ball. I phone million dollar miss calls. Kendrick Lamar, by the way. And just a straight flex, a lot of motherfuckers in the league, no L. I just had lunch with Embiid, no L, like the two uh, Philadelphia 76ers. 
just flexing on you. Just got fucked and was sucked by a dumb slut. Usually I like him, I believe go well. Summer camp, I've been going ham. Young man with that chopper. That's right for me. I like movies. I'm going ham for that Oscar. I'm Ooh. way far on they raid, darling. They know I'm coming. That's Doppler. They born ah. to me. That's opera. I'm scoring beauties. That's soccer. Me and Joe. Dog, you said I'm scoring beauties. That's soccer. Like a beautiful goal. Like, like bending it, but like bending it like Beckham, but also scoring beauties like all soccer players. For the most part, that fine ass chick, some scoring beauties, that's soccer. They boring to me, that's opera. Like all your raps, all your rhymes is boring to me. They put me to sleep in the same way that opera's boring to me. He said, I'm way far on their radar. They know I'm coming for them. That's Doppler, dog. Like they can see on the Doppler radar that my, like I'm coming for that ass. Crazy. I'm scoring beauties, that's soccer. Me and Jonah Hill smoke. Then we talk a shit about how the rest of y'all blow. Then we take a dip in this pool, pretty cool. Not the pool, shit is hot. Just the view from a spot, shit is hot. But your blind bitches laughing all night. Me and Buster Rhymes be the better for a bite. Talk a shit about the comedy scene, the shit is. Oh, dog, I stopped listening. You see homeboy right here in the corner in the window? He's like, God damn, that shit's fire. His face. But he said I was chilling with, he said I was chilling, smoking with Jonah Hill with the shit cool. Not the pool, that shit hot, but the view, like the like the views fire. Dog, just the wordplay and then the rhyme scheme. And this flow style, this like pattern of delivery that he has right here, this is this is completely different than any of the three rappers that are on the actual beat. So you know like it's him. It's his own original deliveries. It's dope. I love when rappers don't fall into the fall into the rhythm of the original track. I don't I'm I'm assuming he knows the track, but still. Me and Jonah Hill smoke, then we talk a shit about how the rest of y'all blow. Then we take a dip up in this pool, pretty cool. Not the pool, shit is hot, just the view from a spot, shit is hot, but your blind bitches laughing all night. Me and Buster Rhymes being the for a bite, talk a shit about the comedy scene, the shit is so light. He tell me, can't disagree, get it right, he tell me I mean, I thought by now he conceded I'm witty Down in LA, I've been running the city Ask anybody in music and film who got next in this bitch And they all saying dicky God damn, dog. six years ago Ask anybody in music or film who got next and they say that it's Dicky, dog. This was before his album was released and this was way before anybody ever got wind of the show Dave. This dude really be manifesting his reality. He be manifesting his dreams and, and his thoughts into reality all the fucking time. And you can't even say that he's not because there's plenty of proof in the, like this video right here is proof. Like he knew at the very beginning, he's like, Hey, just to let you know, this is the first time I'm ever, I'm ever rapping on radio. Just thought you should know. Just know that I'm gonna blow, and and you're the first one to have this. It's dope, dog. That he believes in himself that much. This whole, this whole, this whole thing is surreal. This whole thing is exactly like the song Truman when he's saying, "I knew that I was the entertainer that I could be. I just had to prove it to the world and to myself." It's crazy. Down in LA, I've been running the city. Ask anybody in music and film who got next in this bitch, and they all saying dicky. I just do it like it's nothing to it. Life getting pretty sweet like a fun do it. I'm killing dickies hey. in my lane on some T store. And I've been scoring pre bet yeah, the time blew it. I'm a man, bro. I don't really Yeah. That was a fucking bar right there. That football mixed with like bitches reference that he just said. That double entendre. Hold up, I gotta go back in here one more time. I just do it like it's nothing to it. Life getting pretty sweet like a fun do it. I'm hey. killing bitches in my lane on some T store. And I'm just hey. pre yeah, the time blow it. I didn't hear that T store line the first time, but he said I'm pre getting pretty sweet like a fun do. Like, like, like literally fun like it's a, it's a dessert, like it's getting sweet. And he said I'm killing bitches in my lane, T Stewart. Like Tony Stewart, the fucking NASCAR, the NASCAR driver, killing bitches in my lane. But the bar that I really wanted to stop it on was when he said, I'd be scoring prevent, yeah, the dime blew it, dog. Like I'd be scoring, like I'd be smashing, like I'd be smashing tens, like like that chick is a dime, she's a 10. But also like I'd be scoring prevent, yeah, the dime blew it, like she gave me head, like she blew it. And also prevent defense is a defense in football. And so, and the dime package is is another defensive, it's a, it's a defensive package in football as well. American, like, like football, not football, not soccer. And I'd be scoring prevent like the dime blew it, dog. That's a bar. Crazy entendre. Killing bitches in my lane on some T-Store. And I'm a scoring prevent, yeah, the dime blew it. I'm a man, bro. I don't really care what the fuck you think. I'm a state look red, but I grab that pink. And the grunge don't stink, and I bump and sink. Don't suck dick, but I blow that good. Don't want shit, but I hold that wood. Let me hold that, then a fold that. Get a cold that cowboy, Jerry Jones that. Let me own that. Yeah, fuck that girl. damn, dog. That fucking wordplay and that rhyme scheme. The dude been the truth even before he was Lil Dicky. Or before the world knew him as they know him now. He said, I don't really care what the fuck y'all think the steak rare but i grub that pink like literally like a pink center is like medium rare but grub that pink he's talking about eating eating vagina obviously well maybe obviously to me but obviously but dogs such a little dicky line to say the grundle stink and i bump in sync 
Like, who, like no one else is saying that but him. And no one else is taking that bar seriously. No one's taking that bar seriously out of any rapper's mouth except for Lil Dicky's. He said, don't suck that dick, but I blow that good. <laughs> Like that, like that good weed. Gonna bump and sink. Don't suck dick, but I blow that good. Don't want shit, but I hold that wood. Let me hold that. Been a fold that. Get a cold that. Cowboy Jerry Jones that. Let me own that. Yeah. Fuck damn. that girl. I got hair, never cut them curls. Hold on. That, that fucking, that, that, I, I keep on wanting to think about what he just said about Jerry Jones. Let me own that. Got, like, like, own part of the Cowboys. God. Again, someone who throws in a lot of athletic references into his bars. Cowboy Jerry Jones that. Let me own that. Fuck that girl. I got hair, never cut them curls, and it's true for a dad with a cute old pair. Get a room to share, hit a boom pad burl. Spit that turd, that's that shit. Yo, girl up on my dick. I'm about to sperm up on them hips. Don't want to murder us a kid. Oh shit. What you I'm about to sperm up on them hips, dog. Spit that turd, that's that shit. Like I be spitting that slick shit. Spit that turd, that's that shit. Your girl up on my dick. God damn. About to sperm up on her hips. Don't want to murder us a kid. Ah, oh, talking about an abortion. Don't want to have to go through an abortion. So I'm going to pull out. God damn. Don't want to murder us a kid. Oh shit. What you say? Don't you do this every day? Don't you usually go with double meat when you eat your Chipotle? Don't hey. your crew let like someone black, but you want one that hang no slave. I heard hey. your boo got so much back. She banging that no the dang clock. I'm faded though. <laughs> Fucking Duh. <laughs> I heard your boo got so much back. Like she got so much ass that she banging that Notre Dame clock. Like literally like the hunchback in Notre Dame got so much back, dog. But he said, don't your crew like someone black, but you want one that hang no slave, dog? Fuck. Like you want one to hang, like you want one to hang out with your crew, but also like hang, like like literally hang slaves. God damn, that's, that's some controversial bar right there. Right after the one he talked about abortion. Black, but you want one that hang no slave. I heard your boo got so much back. She banging that no the dang clock. I'm faded though. Fucking bitches you label undateable. Missing birthdays. A belated, bruh. Naked out hey. of San Fran on that rooftop. Ten cans, no two top. I'm the motherfucker man, goddamn. And these motherfucking bitches full of shit like zoo mops. Ha! <laughs> it's a rap. <laughs> These motherfucking bitches is full of shit like zoo mops, like literally zoos, like mops that they use at the zoo to, to, to wipe, like wipe up basically the feces from the animals. God damn. Naked up in San Fran up on the rooftop, got tan cans, no tube top because no one can see. So she's, so she's topless out there tanning. Dog, this motherfucker right here. Yo. I had never seen that one before, dog. And it's dope to see like Lil Dicky, like this was probably a really big moment for him. He's on the rate. I mean, he knows it's a big moment for him. Even though it's a smaller, like, local radio station, he knew that, yo, this is about to blow. So y'all motherfuckers be, I know what I'm bringing to the table. I don't think you know what I'm bringing to the table. So in six years, when this shit has 6.5 million views, I want y'all to remember this moment right here. Duh, crazy. But yo. That brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. Long form breakdowns, analytical feedback, you know, actually trying to break down the lyrics is what we do around here. So if you like that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. If you want to help the boy and help the channel monetarily, you're getting enough value out of this content that I provide that you're like, you know what? Let me throw a couple of dollars a month your way so that way we can keep this thing rolling because because I'm only doing this full time because Patreon allows it with the people that are over there supporting. So if you if you if you're in a monetary position to be able to potentially support and you think that you get enough out of the channel to do so, please consider clicking the first link in the description and seeing what the Patreon is all about. Other than Instagram, Twitter and Patreon, hit up the Discord, follow the Discord. I'm in there all the time. If you want to chat it up with me and other people that are subscribed, hop in the Discord. But that's all that I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your time and like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world. Love care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.